So I was at a workplace for three weeks and I got what I thought was a better offer elsewhere. So I left. Started this job Wednesday, Thursday, the next day I quit. It even be two days, brother. Man's quit. It weren't what I thought it was going to be. Cool. So Friday, the next day, I'm planning to go to the office before home time. Man, about 3, 4 p.m. I get a call from one of the planners. Do you really want to go? Do you really want to quit? We'd rather you stay. Can't we work something out? I don't know, I've got better options that could be coming up soon. I, I don't know. Hour later, the project manager's phoned me, who hired me. He bargained, he reasoned with me to stay, to come back. So, on this contract, if I test someone's house, I get £50 per test. Cut the long story short, the man said I'll give you £65 per test if you come back. I walked away. I was willing to never speak or hear from these people again. Man, I move on to better jobs, better pay, you understand? They phoned me back. They gave me the power after I walked away. You can see where I'm going with this video now, yeah? Because I know halfway through, like the beginning, you're thinking, what the fuck? What's this got to do with how women get the power of relationships? You see, put it this way. If I walked away from that job and I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe I made a mistake, you know? Maybe I can't get another job so easily that's paying the same amount although the pay ain't the greatest maybe I should phone them back and say to them that I've made a mistake if I did that I would have given them the power instead of a 65 pound per job they could have said well when you worked for us a couple of days ago it was 50 pounds per job but now that you've gone and you've come back, it's £40 per job. What are you saying? What are you saying? And this is exactly what happens in relationships. So, you might be in a relationship with your girl or whatever. You might even cause the breakup. You might leave the girl. She might be being disrespectful or whatever. You might have thought, oh, the, the grass is greener on the other side. Don't matter what the reason is. You've broken up with her or she's broken up with you. In any case, you cannot call the girl back first. Because you're going to give her the power. I know, like, when you break up with a girl, whether it's your fault or her fault, don't matter. You're thinking, oh, what is she did? Who is she with? Whatever, innit? Don't even worry about that. It don't matter. Move on with your life. But what ends up happening is certain men are weak. Most men are weak. Most men can't live without their girl. So, regardless of who initiates the breakup, you or her, or both of you come to a mutual conclusion and say, you know, fuck it, part ways. If you go back to her, you're giving her all the power. She can come up with these demands now. I need you to do this for me. I need... You ain't got no say. If you phone your girl back, and she might even want you to come back, but it's only been a week, it's only been two weeks, 15 days, whatever. If you phone her back first, although she wants you to come back, you've given away all your power. And you will see So man are already in this position already, innit? And I advise, don't, man, don't do this as a test to, oh, let me verify, see if Jay Wilder, no. You will see, though. 
a girl will become more disrespectful. She will take liberties because she knows you're weak. You can't survive without her. Why do you think if you've got a girl now or you've had a girl in the past and she's been disrespectful or the girl that you're with is disrespectful now, why do you think that is? Somewhere along the line, think back. You might have been in a relationship one year or ten years or whatever. Did she ever or did you guys ever break up? And when you did, even if you've done something wrong, did you phone her up and say, listen, I'm sorry, man, let's work things out? You might have thought, oh, you know, it's the right thing to do, whatever, whatever, whatever. Whether it's the right thing to do or not, you've shown her that you can't live with Alan. And unfortunately, she will lose respect for you. Whether you're calling the girl back to say sorry, whether you've done something wrong or not, it don't matter. You're not showing the girl that you know what, whether I've got other girls lined up waiting or not, I can cut my losses and, and walk away. You're not showing her that. This is how the girl them get the power. On the other hand, regardless of who causes the breakup, whether it's you or her, if you're strong enough as a man to say, you know what, even though I still want the girl back or whatever. I ain't gonna call her first. A week, a month, a year. I don't know. Never. Maybe. Maybe that might be the case, brother. She has to call me. When she does call you, because she will. Unless you sold so much weakness that she's unattracted to you anymore. If she views you as a strong man, especially if she views you as the king, she'll get in contact with you 110%. It's been proven many times. Trust me, I know. When she comes back, now you have the power. Yeah. Yeah. My house needs cleaning up. What are you saying? Can you do this? Can you do that? What are you saying? You're not really asking, you're telling. But you know how another way women get the power as well? There's certain times, again, regardless of who breaks up with who, it don't matter. The guy wants the girl to come back. Cool. And he, yeah, he's strong enough to not ring her and beg her back. Cool. But sometimes the girl will initiate. So you've been broken up for two, three weeks, a month, two months. She will get in contact with the guy and the guy wants her back. And she knows this. So she will even then make demands that, listen, there needs to be some changes and that. No, 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 there ain't no changes to nothing. That's how women also get the power back. So you could think, oh, the woman's in the weak position by initiating she's made the first move to try and you know rekindle the relationship but she still comes back and make demands yeah making no demands we break up again yeah we spoke for one hour in it we're still broken up don't give a fuck you might know people right now a man might live in a nice five hundred thousand pounds yard yeah nice detached house 500 grand and you sit there and you think fuck man like I'm still in my mum's yard I don't have no property or nothing like that like I've got money but I can't afford to buy no way on my jacks my man over there is lucky man he's living the high life he's living in a detached house with his gal or whatever it don't have to be a detached house but yeah he's got his own yard with his gal and that don't get it twisted fam not everything is as it seems, my brother. Trust me, man. No, I've seen man married and that. Man that's not married. Man that's just bought a yard with his gal. To the outside world, yeah, it just looks like a 50-50 thing. Nothing. You ain't been in them environments. I've seen, like me, when I go around couples, 
whether they're old or young, I watch and I analyse and I make a split second decision and I know who has the power, who's running things. I've been to man's yard. Man owns a yard with a gal. Okay? So you would think the decision is 50-50. Nah, fam, it's not 50-50. Been to a man's yard to do work. And a man has to ask the girl's permission for what can and can't be done. And it's the man paying, you know, fam. The man's paying for the work, but he has to sort after the girl's permission first. What? I've seen it like, I've, I've, I've been to a man's yard and the girl works from home or whatever, innit? And yeah, I hear that whatever she's doing is important on the phone with work, but a man is literally sitting down like he's outside the principal's office waiting for her to finish her conversation. Literally, a man's waiting half an hour. Us men are stagnant. We can't do nothing until she gives the go-ahead next. Just to fit a couple of lights. How is that 50-50? I've been a man's yard. A man don't know, oh shit, like, what do I get? Cool white or warm white or daylight white bulbs? I better not make this fucking mistake. I've even heard a girl say, I'll let you make that decision. What do you mean, I'll let you make that decision? Do you understand what that means? That means that I have the power, but you know what? I'll let you be the boss for this one hour. I'll let you make that decision. I've been with man, I remember when I was an apprentice. Same again, a man's married, a man's got a yard with a girl. This was actually regarding their second property. So a man's got a yard with a gal, 50-50, quote-unquote. They bought a next yard, a couple miles away from their residence. And obviously they need to do some work inside, isn't it? Change doors and whatever, whatnot, whatnot. Man, I'm an apprentice, I've gone with my mentor to B&Q. He's gone to look at some doors. He's called his missus. You're right, babe. I'm in B&Q. Um, what style of door did you want? Did you want this style or that door? What are you doing in B&Q? I told you we're going to go there on the weekend. Sorry. And a man's literally like, tail between his legs. The woman said, what are you doing in B&Q? I told you not to go without me. I said we're going to go on Saturday afternoon. Oh, sorry, babe. And a man's walking... Like hunchback and Notre Dame with his tail in between his legs. How, how does that seem like 50-50? They don't seem like 50-50 to me. Again with the yard thing. If a man gets kicked out. <laughs> yeah. Where, where are you going to go, fam? You live at a girl's yard, fam. Or even if you're 50-50 on the mortgage or whatever. You might act out a character or whatever. You know, we're human beings, as long as you don't put your hands on the girl. But she might say, oh, to the police, you know what? I don't feel safe around him. He needs to leave. So, yeah, you're 50-50 with the girl. Yeah, you sell the property or whatever. But until then, you're not allowed in the house. Where are you going to go, fam? You know where you're going to go? You see, when I go to my mother's yard in Edmonton, because I want to chill out with my mum, or if I'm working from Edmonton or whatever, I'm working in central London... Do you know where I sleep? Because I left my mum's house and my little sister's got my bedroom. Do you know where I sleep? Do you know where you will be sleeping if you move in with a girl and you have to leave? I sleep and you will be sleeping on a sofa in your living room. You ain't got no privacy. Sorry about that. Or you go to the Salvation Army or you call up your auntie or your grandma or your uncle. Again, you go and be on someone's sofa. Unless you got another property or something like that. And women know what they're doing. A woman wants a lot of women, a lot of women on this feminism thing. A lot of women they want power and that. They want a man to come and move in with them. So they can do the kicking up. I know, man. Man are players. Man are 
chopping down girl, yeah, left, right and centre, even when they had a girlfriend, but they weren't living with their girlfriend. So they had a girlfriend, but they weren't living with their girl. And they was, yeah, messing around with this girl, that girl, innit? But now that they've moved in with their girl, they're not doing that no more. Not because they're on some moral high ground and they're saying, you know what, I'm going to respect the thing and I ain't going to do that. I find it disrespectful. No, they're not. They're not not messing around for that reason. They need to behave themselves because it's either their mother's soul or the Salvation Army. You understand? This is why certain girls don't mind a man coming to moving with them because they're going to get some power. Of course, cool. of course a girl's going to have power over you. There's certain man getting buoyed right now, you know. Certain man getting emasculated right now. A man could be in an argument with his girl. She could say, shut up or get out of my house. What are you going to do? Literally, shut up or get out of my house. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, fam? We're going to say, make me. Make me. You know, like a little you that they have a babysitter around. You know, a little, little eight-year-old that has that 14-year-old girl babys babysitter that comes around. And she said, eat your greens or do this or do that. No, nope, make me. I'm not doing it. What are you going to do? Stare at the girl with a mean look on your face. You're gonna have to go, fam. This is why I never put myself in a position where I move in with a girl. And if I did, I would always have a property to go back to because I know if a woman gets disrespectful, I'm out of there. I'm not even standing in the same presence as a disrespectful woman. Because trust me, I've seen women are disrespectful and I've experienced women being disrespectful. Obviously, men always walk away, but they're difficult to deal with. You start losing your hair. You see me, you see my man, man's hair starting to fade. Ain't got nothing to do with no gal, but yeah. You start losing your hair, fam. Man's even heard horror stories, you know. When I was at Har Holmes and Harringay, there was a brother there, innit? Not a brother, but some white guy. Older man, big man, mum's age and all them things there, innit? He left his house, his residence. Broke up with his missus or whatever, wasn't it? He's still paying off the mortgage for that house. Yeah. So a man has left his yard. He's still paying off the mortgage for that house. The woman has moved in another guy. He's got his feet up on the coffee table watching Arsenal get battered by Manchester United. Feet up watching the football game on a Saturday night. Yeah. That's what's going to happen to you If you give the woman the power But how do you not give the woman the power At some point the woman's going to pull back At some point you're going to break up with the woman It's the inevitable No matter if it's a month in, a year in, ten years in You're going to break up with the woman At some point It could be over a minor thing or a major thing It don't matter You might even believe this is it well, then it's it. That's it. Don't call the girl back. Simple. Break up with your missus. Let her go. She will come back. 100%. But obviously, if in that time, she's emasculated you and she's lost attraction for you, oh, you're, you're, you're fuck. You're fuck, fam. She ain't coming back, blood. But if she sees you as the king and whatever, you might have had a little disagreement or whatever, and you two break up, she will come back. 110%. Works every time, fam. Trust me. And obviously, there's times where you feel, what? She might not be coming back. Well, then she ain't coming back. So, that's how women get the power. How I got the power in this, with this employment thing. Now, I'm not going to abuse it, but I just understand. that like, I can see, oh, I've got the power now. Right, these men call me back. I left them. I left them. Guys, how many times have you lot had a job in your life? Whether you're 24 or 34 or 44. How many times have you left a job and the employers them has called you back? Yeah? So I can see, oh, I've got the power, but I ain't going to abuse it. I don't really care. Because I, I said to the guy, listen, 
I'm still going to leave anyway. So like, yeah, all right, I'll come back. Cool. But as soon as something better comes, I'm gone anyway, because I know I can do better than this. He said, all right, cool. We play it by ear, innit? So that's how the women then get the power, innit? Break up with a guy, threaten to leave a guy, whatever, whatever, whatever. Boom. Guy gets weak, just like the employer. Oh, I need you. The employer calls back the employee. I'll offer you more money. Babe, what do you, what, what can I do to make this up to you? Same thing, you've given away all your power. And I know that employer has given away the power as well. Yeah, forget about the money thing. Apparently, at the end of the day, I'm supposed to fill out job sheets. So I've tested number 10 Reed Road, N17. I've tested uh, 64 Main Avenue, EN1. At the end of the day, I'm supposed to fill out a job sheet for the Reed Road and the Main Avenue jobs. They said, don't worry about it, we'll do it for you. But my neighbor's fucking dog is barking now, so I think that's time to end the Ross Clark video. Stay wise.